This video is going to cover order of operations. Uh, many of you are already familiar with this. Uh, you know about PEMDAS, but we're going to review this real quick anyway. Uh, we go in this direction when we do our calculations, top to bottom. These must be done first. <clears throat> the P stands for grouping symbols. So you have to do everything in grouping symbols first. So perform everything inside of grouping symbols, and that could be uh, parentheses, uh, it could be brackets. And one thing that a lot of people don't realize is if you have a fraction, the numerator and the denominator have to be treated like separate uh, grouping symbols as well, where you do everything in the numerator and then you do everything in the denominator before you do the division uh, bar in between. The next one here is uh, E stands for exponents, so perform all powers or exponents. Uh, the next ones are multiply and divide. Okay, so we're going to multiply and divide, but you're going to multiply and divide from left to right, whatever order they come in, left to right. And we're going to add and subtract the same thing from left to right. <clears throat> now that's all there is to uh, order of operations. You just treat them one step at a time. Now before we actually get into some order of operations, we're going to take a quick look at uh, powers. We want to make sure we get powers done correctly. Okay, so power uh, comes in two parts, a base and an exponent. And the base number is considered the factor, and the factor is the number to be multiplied. The exponent is not a factor, although a lot of students treat it like a factor. An example there would be uh, 4 to the third power. 4 to the third power means take 4, the base number, as a factor and multiply it by itself three times. And that's going to give us uh, 64. A lot of students will try to tell us that that is really 12. This is 4 times 4 times 4, not 4 times 3. So this is not correct. Okay, simplifying. Simplifying means to replace an expression like this with another equivalent expression like that. So 4 to the third power gets simplified as 64. Okay, quick uh, couple examples here. Order of operations. Let's start off with. Um, 6 minus 2 squared divided by 2. Okay, our order of operations say to do things inside the parentheses first. So 6 minus 2, and that will leave us with 4. Bring down anything you haven't calculated yet. So I'm bringing down the exponent, I'm bringing down the divide by 2. Next in the order of operations is to do the exponent before you do the divide. 4 to the second power is not 4 times 2, it is 4 times 4, which gives us 16. And then divide by 2, which gives us 8. So this expression up here is simplified down to just 8. This is equivalent to the expression at the top. We have another example here, 2 to the fourth power minus 1 and we're going to divide that by 5. Now I did say that anytime you have something written in fraction format you have to treat the numerator as if it were in parentheses and the denominator as if it were in parentheses before you do the division. Everybody knows that we do the exponent first 2 to the fourth 
But what a lot of people will try to do is come down and divide by five without subtracting one from this expression on the top. So if I were writing this side by side, it would be two to the fourth minus one, put it in parentheses, and then divide by five. And if you don't put it in parentheses, it'll try to do one divided by five and then subtract it from two to the fourth. So numerator gets done, denominator gets done, and then we come together and do the division in, in between. So we still gotta do exponents first. Two to the fourth power is gonna give us 16 minus one all over five. We still need to do the rest of the numerator before I divide by five, so 16 minus one will give you 15 divided by, oops, divided by five. And then 15 divided by five is gonna give us three. So this expression up here simplifies to just three.